Hey everyone, uh, this is Kyle from Beach Interactive and Chad from Close Studios and we're here with another developer commentary for our newest update. We've got a lot of cool features to share with you uh, but first we're actually going to talk about some exciting news that we have coming for On My Own. Um, if you've been looking at our blog posts or our other social media you will know that we officially announced Xbox One as one of the platforms that we're going to be supporting and on top of that uh, On My Own will be released this winter of 2015. Also, for those of you interested, we've been releasing um, blog posts for people interested in what it's like working on this game. Um, so we'll have a couple links after the video and in the description. Um, and you can check out more on that at onmyowngame.com. Let's jump into the update. So one of the newest things you will see, or not see, but actually hear, is we have a new song from our artist Cody Qualley, um, just for the lake level. Um, so, so far we have a song for the, the title screen, the woodland, and also the alpine, but now we have uh, a song just for the lake level, which is kind of themed around it, which is pretty cool. So let's check out a couple of the new features in the level. So the first feature that we added is the Baneberry bush. Um, it acts a lot like the raspberry bush. Um, you can just click on it and it go up and interact with it. Your player will pick some berries. Um, you'll randomly get one to two just like the raspberry bush. Um, then it also acts the same way in the winter. Um, it'll be dead and then in the summer it'll actually have fresh berries for you to pick. Um, so the Baneberry is similar to the raspberry. You can use it to trap um, other animals so you can interact with it with the deadfall trap and animals are actually will come up to it and you can catch them But if you eat the bane berry it actually has a different effect. So Kyle if you want to talk about that So you'll see uh, when you drag the berry up to your avatar um, And eat it you'll see the food icon will pop up and right after that you'll see a red icon with a skull And that means your character is now poison um, The poison will affect your hunger satiation level and it'll decrease um, twice as fast now um, and to get rid of that status effect it'll take three days three full days of resting um, to get rid of that effect let's jump over to the alpine tundra and kind of show some of the new features that we have there one of the features that we added in a while back was creating f arrows and arrow fletching so in order to do that you have to have feathers um, to collect feathers you'd have to chop down trees and then it would randomly spawn um, a feather but now you can actually kill or trap a willow ptarmigan, which is kind of like the chicken of the tundra. If I'm correct. It's a type of grouse, yeah. Yep. So it's it's a it's a new animal. It interacts the same kind of as the fox. It will randomly wander around. And you can catch it with your snare traps, your deadfall traps, and you can also shoot it with a bow and arrow um, if you're good enough shot. And as we said, it drops feathers and also small game meat, which you can cook and eat, or you could, you know, you could take it back down to the woodland lake level and try to capture a fox. A lot of users have been asking um, for us to include a new predator into the game. So once again, a new threat, something that will affect your avatar. Um, so with this update, we are really excited to announce that we have included a grizzly bear into this update. So Chad, tell us a little bit about how how does the player interact with the grizzly bear? Yeah, so the bear is in the woodland lake biome and also the alpine tundra biome. Right when you interact with them, you kind of are in this fight or flight. So the grizzly bear is growing at you or roaring at you and you can either you know run away, you could run at him, or you could drop some meat, maybe you can uh, distract him from you as you you know slowly retreat. Um, as you can see here, we are actually going to attack the bear and see what happens. Looks like our backpacker is not doing too well right now, so what happens after a bear attack, Chad? Yes, yeah, so the bear actually does two things when uh, he mauls you. Um, one is he will actually go through your items in your uh, in your backpack and he will destroy them. Um, so basically what it does is it will deconstruct any items that you have. So say you have a deadfall trap, he will deconstruct it into a rock and a couple sticks and randomly spread it around. Um, and then on top of that, every item that he goes through actually has a 20% chance that you will lose forever, that the bear just destroyed beyond repair. 
um, which is pretty difficult if, say, you have like a bow and arrow and maybe it destroys the box pack or something detrimental like that. Um, it's really going to set you back. Um, and then on top of that, as you can see in the upper hand, left hand corner, he actually affects your fatigue. So Kyle, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, so after the bear attack, um, you'll see the bear claw icon will be up there in red, but also half of your energy meter is kind of slashed, and that's wounds that you've taken from this bear attack. Um, so in order to get rid of that, you're gonna need to rest a full day for each one of those bars to recover. Um, so three days and your energy level will be at full capacity again. And then on top of that, we added a couple new items. They're called damaged goods. So as you can see, the bear attacks you. You now have a damaged jacket and a damaged hat. Um, so you can actually repair those by adding it with a thread. And then any of the three pelts currently in the game. So either the, the fur, the rabbit fur, the box pelt, or the deer hide, or the sheepskin. All right. And last but not least, uh, Chad, tell us the update on the elusive fox. I know users have been having hard time catching the fox. What did you change in this update? Yeah, so the fox used to only interact with the deadfall traps with uh, the raw meat or a snare trap if it happened to walk through it. Um, now it will actually kind of hunt out those deadfall traps with the raw rabbit meat. Um, so, or the raw small game meat, I'm sorry. Um, so basically, rather than it needing to be in a couple you know, meters of the trap, it can actually be pretty far in the world and he'll actually seek out that trap, which is pretty cool. And it makes it a lot easier to catch. Um, and so you can make your bone arrow or your fox hat, your fox hat. Also for some of our Steam Early Access users, in this new update we've included a couple uh, new Steam, Steam achievements. So be sure to look for those uh, in the update. That's about all we have. Um, thank you for checking out our developer commentary video for this update. Make sure you subscribe and you can check out our other blog videos. There are links on the video and also in the description. Thanks guys.